You're in collision now. Steering. Everybody makes mistakes. Okay, you make mistakes, I make mistakes. Every single person out there makes mistakes. Being a pilot shouldn't be a death sentence. And when you make a mistake in the airplane, that shouldn't kill you. So if you had a system that could recover you, if you made a mistake, that would be a good thing. Auto GCAS stands for the Automatic Ground Collision Avoidance System. It was developed in the 1980s by the Air Force Research Lab by five uh, computer scientists that were also aerodynamicists. Uh, it was designed to save lives down on the Edwards Ranges during test flight, because we had a lot of uh, aircraft that had controlled flight into terrain on test flights. The automatic ground collision avoidance system was designed to automatically uh, fly the airplane away from a hazardous situation so the pilot didn't die and we didn't lose the jet. Prior to takeoff, uh, digital terrain elevation data is loaded on board the aircraft and this is already happening. Basically it's a digital map of wherever the aircraft is going to fly that specific mission. Um, as the airplane is flying around, um, it's locating itself over that digital map with GPS and INS. At the same time, um, a trajectory prediction algorithm is running and um, that recovery maneuver is to roll the aircraft to wings level 5G pull. If that ever intersects the two-dimensional profile, that's when it'll go ahead and command the fly-up. And so if the pilot um, sees this recovery happen, basically there'll be two chevrons that will appear in your heads-up display, and they'll touch in the middle. When they touch, that means the automatic system has taken control. This system was not only nuisance-free, but also that it could have protected against almost all of the past historical mishaps that we've lost due to controlled flight into terrain. Feel recover. Feel recover. Feel recover. Feel recover. Sully, knock it off. Sully, one, knock it off. Sully, two, knock it off.